ninety-nine percent of the cosmos is unmanifest. But today, modern physicists are saying, this unmanifest dimension of the existence is tremendously powerful. They're saying, largely it's unmanifest, it is dark, and we don't know what it is, so we're calling it dark energy. Here in this culture, in the yogic culture, we always refer to this as kala. There are two aspects. In India, in this culture, we don't have two separate words for time and space. Time is also kala, space is also kala. Kala means darkness, darkness means space. See, you must understand this. In your experience of life, Right now, because of the nature of the visual apparatus you have, you can only see that which stops light. You can see this hand because it is stopping light. Something so vital as air, generally you cannot see it because it doesn't stop light, unless you happen to be in Delhi, of course. Here you can see the air <laughs> So anything that does not stop light is not in your perception because for you to see it has to stop and reflect light, only then you will see it. So what is considered space is dark because it doesn't stop light. Light may be going through but you don't see it because life was… light was not stopped by anything. So all that dimension that you cannot see is dark for you. So that dimension of space is referred to as color and time also is color. Here we are seeing, within our experience, we see time is the basis of space. In the sense, only because there is time, point A and point B are possible. Generally, logical thinking would be, because there is a distance, there is time. No, because there is time, distance is possible, space is possible. So we don't have two words for this, kala means time, kala means space. So this dimension of unmanifested existence is called shiva. Shiva means that which is not. When that which is not is just there, if little bit of energy play happened, which we refer to as Shakti, suddenly he roared. When he roared, he took the form of an ellipsoid. This is what we refer to as the linga or the first form. So we say that which was Shiva, that which was unmanifest, when it manifested, it came out in the form of a roar. A roar means a rudra, a roarer is a rudra. He roared for a period of time. So that face is called as rudra. When he settled down, he settled down into many manifestations today that we refer to as creation.